Hey everybody, welcome to this a new video where Solaris Ray is going to be playing RimWorld vs Zombieland. That's right, it's a new spin off of our previous uh, series, uh, which, um, you know. Uh, I invite you to watch if you didn't have the possibility to watch it uh, in uh, it was pretty cool to do and I hope that you will enjoy it but today what we are gonna do is we're gonna uh, continue uh, not necessarily in the same world not necessarily with the same characters but we are gonna try to fulfill the challenge because um, what what I would like to achieve the challenge, <laughs> and uh, um, uh, uh, you know, you 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 can watch what happened in the in the previous series. I don't want to spoil uh, too much, so the people that are interested, uh, they can uh, you know uh, go. I will try to put a uh, an invitation at the uh, at the end of this video to the other series. But uh, yeah, so uh, this is uh, this is. The continuation but not in the same world not necessarily with the same characters uh we're gonna try to do the things a little bit differently because i think that we uh we love we learn a lot from our previous uh, playthrough um definitely it was uh very difficult uh there was a non-stop aggression from the zombies from start to finish um but i really enjoyed it that's the kind of playthrough that i really like challenging ones difficult ones where we need we need to fight tooth and nail for every single thing that we are trying to uh, to achieve it was awesome i really love it so what we're going to do uh today is uh, an introduction that's going to be the episode zero um for the new series so i'm going to explain uh, the background, I'm gonna explain, explain the story, I'm gonna explain uh, the mods, um, I'm gonna show them. Um, I'm also gonna uh, show the storytellers, the factions, uh, and all that stuff. But I'm not gonna uh, show the characters, I'm not gonna show uh, the map necessarily. We may generate it, but it may not be that one, so I'm not gonna uh, waste too much time because what I figured out is uh, sometimes. Um, uh, I just need to reboot. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, uh, uh, on the previous um, playthrough that I did, uh, that was the third attempt. And uh, technically, this uh, this video there uh, could be technically the seventh or eighth attempt of what I'm trying to achieve, right? So um, I'm just doing this video so we can uh, always have the same basis, and um, and you guys know what I'm trying to achieve. And I'm gonna um, explain. I'm gonna show the characters and the map. And, uh, you know, maybe uh, <laughs> the characters and the map uh, would be, uh, I will show them in the next episode. So like that, I can keep this video. And after, if for example, I had to uh, to redo the attempt three, four, five, ten times uh, with different characters, tweak them a little bit or the map or whatever, then, and then uh, I can do it. So in the next video, I will show you the characters and the map that, are, that we will be playing in that playthrough. For now, we are gonna stick with the mods, the background, the you know the the story because that's not gonna change, and potentially as well the equipment. All right, so let's get started. So first, let's go in the mods. All right, because uh, and I want I want to do something first. I really want to praise the modding community for RimWorld. I think what they did recently was absolutely amazing. When there were that uh, patch being done from 1.0 to 1.1, so many mods were broken, uh, and they had to be adapted, updated, uh, or even being redone. Um, so I wanted to really give a shout out to all the mothers that are working extremely hard and they are not necessarily being paid for what they are doing. So uh, please show their support. Uh, I think they are doing a wonderful job and they are one of the big reasons why RimWorld is as big as it is and how fun, the reason why the, the game is as fun as it is, right? So uh, that's the first, first thing. Uh, the second thing uh, that we're gonna talk about there is the uh, mods. Okay, so uh, if you look, the mod in questions, right? Like uh, there is a, a lot of mods, all right? So uh, I'm not gonna get through all of them, but what I will do is to make sure that on the video you can see all of them. So if you want to use them, you can. Now, just please keep in mind that uh, I'm still tweaking a little bit the mods here and there. Um, so it's the, it's a work in progress, but for now it seems to work okay. I just have uh, some um, 
uh, errors popping in the console from so, some uh, uh, little things here and there, but it doesn't seem to impact the gameplay. So uh, let's get started. So of course, you know, we have Harmony Core, uh, the Royalty DLC. Uh, we have to use the, the library hugs, uh, the Jex tool, human, uh, alien human race, the facial stuff, prepare carefully, rim hub, the mod manager, which this is absolutely a must. Thank you so, so much uh, for what you're doing, Fluffy. This is an awesome mod. I can't live without it. A rim well is so amazing with this mod. Interaction uh, bubbles, uh, the Tinker Construct, the Dub Meet Mud, the Camera Plus, so we can see, zoom in and out. That's very cool. Pair research, uh, because, or research pair, sorry, because we're gonna have a lot of different research patterns and that makes things uh, easier to find. Uh, the entire Giddy Up series for the animals, um, uh, the complex jobs, uh, because that's gonna allow us to really tweak our pawns, or what they're gonna do on a regular base, Animal Logic, Empire, which I think this mod is a, a super awesome. Thank you very much, Sakura, our Sakura. Don't know if I'm saying it right, but thank you. What you're doing is amazing. Um, the Blueprint, Simple Side Arms, Faction Control. Thank you, thank you, Rainbow Flamby, uh, for, for this. Like, uh, this allows so many flexibility in the playthroughs and how we want to play the game. So thank you very much for this mod. Big shout out as well to the Androids series, to Atlas, the offer, you know, a random Kiwi as well. Uh, all the people working on it, uh, you know, the, there is also Genoids, uh, there is the Android TIA TX series, Vinia Plus, the SM7 as well from Joe. Uh, thank you very much. Architect, Apothecary, the children in schools, the Glitternet, uh, Cybernet, Glittertech, Diplomacy, um, uh, di Dynamic Diplomacy, Extended Rims. Uh, extended prosthetic rim world of magic yes guys we're gonna use that in the playthrough i will explain a little bit uh, later uh, extended woodworking area and locker dt difficulty uh, door extender uh, faction to empire uh, faction discovery uh, gene uh, genetic rim genetic rim alpha go explore as well that's an awesome mod thank you so much albion for what you're doing it's amazing uh, alpha animals, um, alpha biomes, wall light, uh, the vanilla weapons extended, uh, quick draw as well, the animal, uh, vanilla animals extended, um, the uh, vanilla pure extended, um, vanilla armor extended as well, um, there's gonna be vanilla bionics extensions, the events extended, uh, weapon laser, we also have the Gunny Storyteller snap out of it because uh, th this is such an awesome mod. Honestly, well bite, well bite. I don't know if I'm saying your, rare, your name right, but thank you so much for this idea. I cannot tell you how frustrating sometimes is that the, the, the pawns are, are losing their, their stuff in the middle of a critical situation. And at least you have a, a way for other pawns to help them get out of their trauma. I think it's an awesome idea. Set up camp is pretty cool. Search and destroy, save our ship to run and gun, RPG in, uh, style inventory, uh, RPG level up mod, rim solo storytellers. Uh, those those storytellers are super cool, especially um, uh, that one. I don't remember her name, but uh, she's uh, she's pretty cool. Rim laser, uh, flag and banners, uh, industry roller, hospitality, care for me. Uh, large faction bases, um, miscellaneous robots, miscellaneous robots plus plus, modularization weapon, modularization uh, weapon for vanilla weapons, uh, more mechanoids, more trade slots, more vanilla biomes, more vanilla factions, uh, Mr. Fox Storyteller, no matter, no, no matter, no water, no life, uh, pharmacists, plasma weaponry. Uh, Polaris Block, um, Power Plus Plus, Powerful Faction Bases, Prisoner Ramsom, Carry 1.1, Questionable Ethics, Rear Fog of War, that's an awesome, awesome mod. Thank you, Luca Depri, uh, uh, Depri Trilio. 
Thank you. It's an awesome mod. Thank you. Real ruins, realistic planets, remote tech, repair workbench, rematomic, STR extended, XTR realism patch, subsurface conduit, supply and demand, supreme melee, zombie land, of course. Thank you so much, Andreas. Your mod is awesome. Thank you. And I would have, I really love the fact that you can tweak the mod that easily. Uh, there's so many different options. You can play it so many different ways. Thank you. Rimfella, Lovecraft Storyteller, Reunion, Rimworld, Witch, uh, Witch Hunter, uh, Visible Pants, Machine Gun Defense, Individuality, Immortals, Boats, Alien Children Compatibility, so that's, you know, for the Alien Skins, Fallout Race, uh, Ghouls, uh, Better Pawn Control, Call of Tulu, uh, Cult, and Call of Tulu Cosmic Hour. There you go, guys. So, um, uh, I will put um, I will put maybe a shortcut to this uh, section so you guys can see all the mods, right? Because it's uh, quite a few. I didn't count how many of, uh, they are, but it's a quite extensive mod pack. It seems to work pretty well so far. Um, as I said, I may gonna have to tweak uh, some here and there, but this is what we're gonna go for. We we're, we're gonna try to uh, to to play with. Now, the next step. I'm gonna uh, begin to create the game. So obviously, uh, when I'm gonna create the game, I'm gonna pause the video so you don't have to wait, but I just want to show you what we're gonna do and why, and what is the first process behind it. So we're gonna create a new colony, and we're gonna play with this um, uh, with this starting that I created myself, which is called the Battle for Neris. Um, and this is the synopsis real fast. So a laboratory conducting experiments on the human genome uh, found a way to enhance it uh, using a virus that was supposed to be inoffensive for humans. After conducting experiments to human subjects with no results, the scientists were forced to take more aggressive measures to obtain the results promised by, uh, by their uh, actioneers or to their actioneers, I should correct that. They made substantial changes in the substance and virus to amplify the changes created to the environment subjects and conducted immediate experiments against all recommendations of the lead scientists. The human subjects are uh, reacted violently and, di uh, and died a few minutes after being administered to uh, uh, administered the new serum and were transformed into zombies uh, that attacked the scientists and breached the laboratory confinement, spreading into the atmosphere, contaminating the entire population of the planet. Uh, people died with no apparent reasons, were transformed into zombies, killing other people. The government institu instituted quarantines, but it wasn't enough. Uh, the zombies couldn't be contained. All right, so now this is just a, a quick guide for me so I can explain to you a little bit the, 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 the premise. So globally, as, as you can see, it's different from the previous playthrough. Uh, we are not playing based on a space station crash on the planet and people surviving and trying to fight the virus from the space station. In this instance, the laboratory was on the planet Neris and uh, um, the, the, a corporation was financing laboratory research to enhance the genome, very close a little bit from the storylines of Resident Evil. But of course the virus uh, didn't uh, act as expected. People uh, were uh, uh, infected by this virus, died and become zombies, attacking the, the researchers, breaking through the quarantines of the laboratory. The virus spread into the atmosphere, contaminated after a few weeks, uh, the entire planet and, the, and its populations and the animals. Some people died immediately by transforming into zombies, attacking other people, killing them uh, and transforming them in zombies as well, uh, which had a, a massive effect uh, around the, the population of the entire planet. Um, but some people were, that were infected by the virus didn't react, uh, the, the virus didn't kill them, but it, it seems that after they were die, dead, they are, they are after, after a few days they rose as, uh, as zombies as well. Uh, but there is also another part of the population that were infected by the virus and seem to have been enhanced. Their genomes have been uh, improved by the virus and they're gonna have special attunements with elements, with fire, with ice, and with different things, right? So this is gonna lead to what, of course, you have seen, Rim of Magic, all right? So um, here we're gonna, uh, you can see we start with some 
uh, thing. So we start with five people. Um, we, we're gonna use the new tribe stat, but we're not gonna start with new uh, tribe members. So I already created some pawns around that. Um, we're gonna start with research in robotics, simple logic, uh, and basic logic, gun turrets, guns missing, um, medicine production, drug production, solar panels, batteries, uh, builder, um, uh, robots and haulers and we start with two huskies a hyper mechan a revolver a steel water and chem fuel all right so uh why do we start with those research it's because as you can see some of the pawns that we're gonna have has knowledge right so uh where one pawn is gonna have is gonna be kind of the roboticist and that's why it's gonna know how to construct it's gonna have basic knowledge of robotics and know how to construct uh, holders and builders. Whereas one is more military crafter and he knows how to construct turrets and, and guns missing. Um, the, another one is gonna be, you know, a biologist and he knows how to construct to produce medicine and drugs. Another one is specialized in energy with solar panels and batteries, right? So that's where it comes from. So we're gonna use this background, right? Now the storyteller, we're gonna go for now with uh, Cthulhu. Uh, to Cthulhu times two uh, in rough difficulty with uh, Reloaded Anytime. Now, the why Reloaded Anytime is because as I said, the mod pack is more or less stable. I mean, at this time of the, uh, the time of this recording, the um, the 1.1 uh, was maybe a few weeks ago. Uh, so there are still new uh updates coming up like hot fix there's also uh mods that uh, uh are getting improved and and you know to to work better on the 1.1 version so sometimes it can happen that the game um i would not say crash but it can happen sometimes i had some um um I didn't have too much difficulty with that mod, that version of the mod pack, but in the previous ones, I had some difficulty. So I don't. I just want to make sure that if the game crashes, I can uh, go back and, and and not lose the entire series or the game, right? Uh, but the only reason why I would be allowed to load the game is if of a technical issue in the game, like a crash, right? I will not be able to uh, go back because something terrible happened. Um, not at all, right? So what happens is what happens. I'm not allowed to reload the game to change something that happened. But if the game crash, then yes, we'll be able to, uh, to reload if necessary. All right, so we're gonna continue. So the, uh, the seed that we're gonna use is Oasis. We're gonna use, we're gonna generate 100%. Um, and I would like it to have uh, more rain, right? Uh, I don't want it to be in a too dry planet. Faction control, okay. So we're gonna work with a density of five in this instance with a concentration um, at that level, nation building. We're gonna keep all this, that's fine. We want to have 30 different factions and we want to have uh, some serial Atlanders, right? Um, rough Atlanders, gonna be 10, so there's 15 left. Uh, no serial tribes, I don't, I don't want any tribes at all. No tribes. There's gonna be a fair amount of pirates. Uh, so let's see, so it's gonna be 25 here. 25, I would say there's three empires, so 28. So maybe what I can do is having more, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. more outlanders, so 12, okay? So normally that is uh, uh, 13, 25, 30. So that's equal, that's fine. So things don't bug out. What we're gonna do is like, I want also to have more abominations, uh, a fair amount of commandos, uh, I'm not gonna attach this. Uh, zombies, I want to have 15 zombies there as well. Skeleton factions. A cult seller. And I would like as well to have cosmic arrows as well. 
All right, so that's the settings that I'm gonna use, right, for the factions in the game. Some are gonna appear on the map, some are gonna be hidden, but uh, this is the kind of uh, uh, threats that we're gonna have to deal with, okay? So I'm gonna generate the world. It may take a, a little bit to generate, but I will pause the video, and once it's gonna be generated, we're gonna move on. Now, I'm not gonna show necessarily the planet, because as I say, I will show that to you on the next video. Uh, I'm just showing you the settings that I'm gonna use regardless of how many playthroughs or attempts, I should say, that I'm gonna need to try to do. Those are the core things that will not change, okay? So I'm gonna generate the world, pause the video there, and after I will continue um, with the um, with the settings of the zombie lands, right? So just hang on guys, I will catch you in a few seconds. All right, guys, so the world have been generated, but before we can see, uh, before I can even see the map, um, we have the settings of Zombie Land. So I'm just going to show you the settings that we're going to use for now. So we're going to be using uh, that the zombies are spawning only when it's dark. They can spawn at the edge of the map. They can attack all creatures, but enemies can attack zombies, animals can attack zombies. Uh, they, zombies can attack everything, but at the difference of the other series, they can only attack things when they are agitated. That being said, we're gonna extend the sense of the zombies from normal to elevated, so that means that they are very sensitive and they can sense our tra trails uh, or our ponds from very far away. Um, zombies also rage in group too large, so we're gonna put it in, um, in sensibility high for now. So that means that um, when they rage, well, if they are in, in, in big numbers, they will rage, which means that uh, they can attack things, right? So uh, I think it's going to give a more a realistic field to the things because, or to the, to the playthrough. Because normally zombies, uh, if they don't detect life or they don't smell blood or if they don't, uh, you know, smell the presence of life, around they're gonna wander they're gonna you know walk wandering or they're, they're not necessarily gonna be super active right uh, they're gonna try to save energy as much as they can but if they detect the presence of life or blood or whatever they're gonna be enraged they want to eat right so um and, and that's what's gonna trigger so if they detect the presence of our pawns if they hear noise or whatever then the zombies are gonna uh, be attracted to us and they're gonna come and try to destroy those destroy walls or whatever But if I don't detect the, the presence of life, they would just wander in the map, etc So I think it's gonna allow a little bit more realism in the playthrough uh, Because it, it doesn't make sense that zombies are just gonna come to the base all the time and just attack attack without even knowing if there is anything to eat there but there if they don't know if there is something to eat, they're just gonna stay where they are. But if they detect that there is something to eat, then they they're gonna come attracted, and that's gonna that can create major, major, major issues for the base, obviously. So we're gonna experiment with that. The other big difference is that we are not gonna have any special zombies at the moment. Uh, we're gonna have the zombies starting in uh, five days, and the maximum zombies at the screen is gonna be a thousand. And the colony multiplier is going to be at 1. And the, the zombie per colony, so in case of event, is going to stay at 20. Now, why is that? Well, we're going to play with the same theme than the previous series. Meaning that the only way for us to uh, win... Enfin, not the only way. One of the ways that, that we can win in this series or this playthrough is to make this number, a thousand zombies, go to zero right so we're gonna use the same thing that we did in the previous series i'm gonna put a little uh window here where we're gonna see where we stand with the special zombies and the zombie counts right but the way that we're gonna do it is um every month right um every month uh they they are gonna be uh, uh things that is gonna but I'm still thinking about it. I, I personally think that uh, one of the things that we could experiment in the series is instead of increasing every month, actually, we can increase it every year, right? So what, what would that mean? That means that um, for the first year, and don't, don't forget that in RimWorld, um, uh, years are only 
comprised with four months, right? And each month has only 15 days. So really a year is 60 days, right? So that, that's the first, uh, first thing. So what we could do is instead of changing every month, uh, uh, the mod, we're going to change it every year. But when we're going to change it, it's going to be more substantial, right? Uh, than what we did before. So, um, I personally think what we can experiment is every year, uh, the number of special zombies, right, are going to increase by 1%. So each one of their, them there are going to increase by 1% every year, right? So that's the first thing. And here the number of zombies, right, the maximum zombies, are going to increase by, uh, I think we're going to keep it at 200. Let's keep it at 1% and 200 there. So every year is going to increase by 200, all right? Uh, the colony multiplier though is going to increase by 1, not 0 0.5, but by 1, all right? So uh, it's going to allow uh, zombies to pop, um, uh, more more often right but the first year we're gonna have zombies coming here and there they're gonna be a threat but there's not gonna be any special zombies right the next year right uh, the number of special zombies are gonna increase by two all right so then instead of um, having uh, you know an increase by one percent it's gonna increase by 2%, so it's gonna go from 1% to 3%, right? And here, instead of increasing by 200, it's gonna increase by 400, right? And the colony multiplier is gonna increase by two, not by one. So uh, year, the first year um, passes, the colony multiplier is gonna be uh, two times, and the year after is gonna be four, bang. You see, so there's gonna be increments like this very very quick right and in the year after same thing instead of increasing by two it's going to increase by four so the special zombies are going to increase by four percent so instead of having um three percent zombies there's going to be uh, uh seven percent zombies right uh, the number of zombies there are going to increase by 800 too right so it's going to double and there the colony multiplier instead of um um, uh, uh, yeah, instead of so it's gonna increase by one, and the next year is gonna increase by two. So instead of being at three, it's gonna be at four. So the colony multiplier in the year two, at the end of year two, is gonna be four, right? So you can see that very quickly, right? The 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 zombies are gonna be more and more omniscient, right? Uh, it's the same thing for the zombie per colonist. The first increment is gonna be. 20 on the first year and the second year it's going to be uh, 40 the third year is going to be 80 the f um, you know the fourth year is going to be 160 etc right so you're going to see like uh, as the time is going to pass the the zombie infection is going to spread more and more it's going to be more infectious because at this stage you know the zombie infection has spread in the atmosphere uh, a fair, the, the population is being contaminated, but there's still a lot of living people alive. There's not, you know, billions of zombies yet. But as the time continues and the virus spread and more people dies and city, uh, city falls and government crumbles and things like that, uh, there will be more and more and more zombies. And uh, as well, there's going to be more, as the population get more contaminated, there are going to be more mutations, there's going to be more special zombies, and there's going to be uh, it's going to be more and more difficult. So we're going to have a race against time, uh, like a, a kind of an exponential curve almost, where the beginning is going to be kind of flat, but as the time progress, it's going to be more and more and more and more uh, difficult, right? Now, how can we fight this? Um, I personally think that we're going to keep um, we're going to keep what we were doing previously with the serums. We're going to tweak the numbers a little bit, and I like the number of uh, to modify any of the values here, we're going to need to have 20, right? 20, 100% zero. So I'm, I'm just talking about 100% se efficient serums here. I'm not talking about the 10% because 10%, uh, a 10 percent efficient serum, uh, I will need to have 10 times that to be the equivalent of a one uh, of one 100% efficient serum. 
okay so I, I don't necessarily want to talk about 10% efficient serum we're going to talk about always 100% uh, efficient serum right so uh, for the serums right we're going to need 20 uh, serums sent to a particular city or town right uh, to reduce any of those option by one uh, one uh, percent so in this for example for the suicide zombie for one percent I can send 20 if I want to reduce by two to two percent I'm gonna need to send 40 etc so uh, the the increment is gonna be 27 right um, same here so to reduce the number of zombies by 200 I'm gonna need to send 20 serums right but here here's the catch underneath a thousand zombies to go from a thousand zombies to 800 i need to send 40 serums to go for from 800 to 600 i'm gonna need to send 80 serums to go from 600 to 40 for 400 i'm gonna need to send twice that right i think uh, so uh, 40 80 160 right and to go from 400 to 200 i'm gonna need to send you know uh 320 and to go from 200 to zero i'm gonna need to send 700 um uh, uh, 640 i think so 320 640 right so don't quote me on that but i think you get the idea right so uh, to go from a thousand to eight hundred is 40 uh 800 to 600 it's 80 uh 600 to uh, 400 that's 160 400 to 200 uh that's um 320 yep and after 200 to zero it's gonna be um 640 right so that's gonna be a lot of serum like i'm talking about 640 serums guys for the the last increment and don't forget that it's a ticking bomb so uh, as the year progressed the 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 the, num the increment doubles every year right so the first year is going to be cool it's going to be one one percent for the zombies and etc but the, the next year the, the the percentage of special zombies is going to be increasing by two percent the year after four percent and the year after it's eight percent the year after 16 percent the year after it's going to be uh 32 percent you know so uh globally if we don't fight the infection before um year five we're going to be overrun by the zombies it's going to be pretty pretty clear <laughs> but we're going to be swamped by the zombies right so and the idea is to spread the the serum is to to fight back the 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 infection to prevent the zombies from infecting more people or if they if people get bitten they um uh they they can be healed right so they don't transform into zombies and also one of the things that is going to be uh, noticed is that if someone is having the serum healed then when he dies it will not be in it will not transform into a zombie all right so the more serums we spread around the more we prevent the zombies from um you know um increasing and mutating right but if we are not able to meet the challenge in time we're going to be overrun by the zombies right so that's the the thing uh we may gonna also add some additional goals in the in the paper i would i will think about that but there, there is going to be also other things that is going to be happening that I may going to develop more in the next video when I will be able to uh, show the characters or the pawns because they're going to have special abilities too. But we'll get into that in the next video, okay? I haven't finished yet for the zombie land setting. Um, so the damage multiplier, we're not touching that. Oh, that is fine. Okay, so the infection... If someone get bitten by a zombie, it's gonna have a hundred percent chance to be infected. Therefore, there is no use to have the time. You know what time it takes to know if you're infected. Is you know if you're bitten by a zombie, you're gonna be infected. Period. Right. So that's the thing. Time to treat the the infection is gonna be three days. Why? Because most of the people uh, that hasn't been that didn't transform into the zombie have been affected by the virus or virus already, but if people are getting bitten by zombies, zombies are a different variant of the virus 
and it's a you know it's a it's a virus for it's a zombie form of the virus so people if they're infected by that form of the virus they're going to transform into a zombie but they still have some kind of immune system to slow down the process because they already have inoculated a variant of the virus so the the body uh, can slow down the, the the transformation the spread in the body okay so that's why we're going for that um, okay for the zombie serums we're gonna start at free free extracts from for per zombies that we kill why because as I showed in uh, previously um, we are gonna start with two research we're gonna start with drug production and medicine production and the way that this works is we can extract one additional zombie extract per zombie corpse as the research uh, as much research what we have done to produce uh, or to increase the production of drugs or medicine right so drug production because we have that research instead of extracting one a zombie extract per per dead zombies we're going to be able to extract two and because we have the medicine pro production research that means that we're going to be able to extract three right so the idea is like the more we may make research on how to produce drugs and to get better at synthesizing drugs and things like that the better we're going to get to uh, to have more zombie extracts from their corpses right uh, but that doesn't include making serums doesn't include making drugs right it's not because i, I would know to make sky or i don't know the like different kind of drugs but this is going to inc uh, increase our knowledge on extracting zombie serums but if i can increase my, the knowledge on how to make additional or higher tier drugs right um like you know production of drug production of medicine maybe a production of advanced medicine or glitter medicine or things like that that will help right uh, the zombies will not disappear before two days because that's going to allow us time to go to the corpses and to extract the serums. I don't like the idea of, you know, we kill a zombie and an hour after it's gone. It's not realistic. Technically, if a body uh, lay on the ground, it can stay months on the ground without disappearing. So I don't see why it would disappear in an hour. And I think the computer can take to have a, a fair amount of zombies on the ground. So I don't think that being an issue. All right, cool. So I explain how we're gonna play Zombie Land. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video there, and uh, we're gonna don't, don't worry, continue watching. Uh, I will catch you in a, a few seconds for um, for the next part, which is gonna be the starting equipment. All right. Now, now please keep in mind at this stage of the video, I'm not showing you the map. I'm not showing you the ponds. I will show you to you in the next episode. But I, I'm still going to show you the starting equipment in the next few seconds. So stay with me, guys. All right, guys. This part is going to be the equipment part. So as you can see, we're going to start with a male asking and a female one because one of our ponds is going to be close to nature. It's going to have some kind of a, a affinity like a druid or a ranger. We're gonna also have um, a revolver to defend ourselves, but we're also gonna have some steel and chem fuel because in the backstory of the characters, what I uh, will explain a little bit in the next video, they managed to escape uh, a town that has been uh, attacked uh, by the zombies, by a horde of zombies, and uh, they managed to grab their car. They tried to drive away from the, the, the town, but the car broke down and they, you know, were stranded in the middle of nowhere with the car, so they stripped it up, tried to get as much resources as they could. So they, uh, they managed to, uh, to recuperate some steel, uh, some chem fuel out of the car. They, they also brought some, some food with them, some water, Right, so that, that's the reason why they start with this and they're gonna have to um, to start from scratch and, and they know that with all the zombies uh, hanging around it's not necessarily the best strategy to uh, you know trying to walk uh, to the next town so they're trying to hanker down and try to uh, to you know to survive and to not attract too much attention from the zombies and potentially find a way to fight them back so here you go guys so uh at this stage we covered everything that i wanted to cover for the introductory uh video we went through the uh mods we went through the background and the story 
uh, we went through the setting of uh, zombie land and what we're going to start with in terms of equipment and in the next video the episode one we're going to see the map we're going to see the ponds we're going to go more into the story of the characters and we will also maybe even start building the base so i hope that you enjoyed the content so far guys if you did please leave a like and subscribe that really help the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell and as well like uh, if you have any suggestions on what you want to see in the in this playthrough or if you want have any suggestion on what kind of content you would like me um, would like me to play or to cover put it in the comment section below and i will catch you on the next video see you guys bye